it's James here from GoodGuitarist.com and today we're going to learn how to play Photograph by Ed Sheeran. The first thing we have to do is put a capo on the second fret. So that's the first fret, here's the second fret. Make sure it's nice and snug and make sure you retune your guitar. You always got to retune your guitar when you put on your capo because it kind of squeezes the strings out of tune a little. Aside from that, this song only uses four chords and that's it. We switch around the order of the chords as we play each of the different sections, but it's just four chords, and three of those are simple, basic open chords, and one of them is a bar chord. And if you need help with that, we have a free ebook that will help you out with all the open chords, all the basic stuff, all the fundamentals of music, really. And then we have a little mini series on bar chords. So just take a look in the description down below. The ebook is free to our subscribers, and the bar chord mini series is here on YouTube, and you know, that'll help you out hopefully. And if you find that you're learning something from these videos, I'd really appreciate it if you took the time to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and leave a comment. I'd really appreciate that. It really helps us out a lot. Anyways, let's get started with the chords. First, we have a D chord. And for the D chord, we're only strumming the top four strings. Then there's an A chord. For that, it's the top five strings, so we're not going to play the low string, but everything else. And you can see how I kind of bend my thumb over the top. That's to mute the low string. That way I can just strum all the strings and not really have to worry about it. Then there's the G chord. And for that, we can strum all the strings. And finally, a B minor chord. And just a little tip for you guys, the B minor is actually based off of the A minor shape. I'll show you what I mean. So here we have our plain old A minor chord. Well, let's say we played it with these three fingers instead. And then we just drag the shape up using our finger to replace the capo. We end up with the B minor shape. And once again, if you need more help with that, there's a link down below. We go over everything there is to know about playing bar chords and building finger strength and getting started with it. You know, it's not really complicated stuff. It's just some really basic stuff that'll help you build up that strength and make your bar chords sound great. So now that we have the chords, let's figure out the order that we're gonna play them in. So we're gonna start out on the D chord and let's just count along and strum through the song really nice and slow. Three, four, one, two, three, four. We stay on the D chord. Two, three, we're gonna switch to B minor. One, two, three, four. Again, we're gonna switch to A soon. And A, two, three, four, one, two, three. Here comes G. So that was really straightforward. We just strummed it with downstrokes and I recommend doing that before you get into the strumming pattern. Just rewind this video if you have to until you can just play along and count or you could even do it on your own and just count out loud just like I did. Just one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, strumming along with the chords. So the most important part of the rhythm in this song is the underlying pulse. Now there's two ways we can address that. We can actually do two different strumming patterns. The one that Ed Sheeran does goes like this. And I want you to notice there that he's emphasizing certain beats. One and two and three and four and one and four. So the best way to get this would be to count out loud and to clap the underlying pulse. So I'll demonstrate for you. One and two and three and four. And. So all I did there was clap on one, the and after two, and four. And if you do that, speed it up, get it to a point where you can comfortably do it at say the speed of the song, which is about one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. 
And if you can do it that way, you'll be guaranteed to feel the pulse no matter what. So as you're playing the song, it'll be really hard to get lost in the rhythm. So that's my really big, highly recommended tip for this song, is to be able to clap that underlying pulse. That one and two and three and four and two. And once you can feel the underlying pulse, it's really, really easy to get the strumming pattern together for this song. So I'm gonna play a D chord here, and I'm just gonna play down strokes on every beat. One and two and three and four and. So it doesn't really sound like anything special, but if I emphasize those pulse, that main beat, speed it up. That's it. That's all it takes. So work on it really slowly. This isn't a complicated pattern, but it'll feel really hard if you just try to do it full speed right away. So feel the pulse, work on incorporating that pulse into just plain downstrokes, and that's it. Now as an alternative, if you find that that's just not working for you or if you just don't like it, you can also do the most common strumming pattern ever. It's just down, down, up, up, down, up. And that strumming pattern does kind of automatically emphasize that pulse. That strumming pattern comes from that underlying pulse. So that's why it works so easily with this song. So you kind of have a choice here. And if you need extra help with that strumming pattern, we go over it in our free ebooks. There's a link down below. You can check that out. Either way, now that we have the strumming pattern and we have the chords, let's put it together nice and slow. Let's play it together right now. One, two, three, four. So for the rest of this song, we're going to be using the same chords, same strumming pattern. Let's just take a look at the order that we're going to play the chords in. First, we'll look at the pre-chorus, and that starts on a B minor chord. And let's just do the same thing that we did with the verse. We're just going to do down strokes, and we're going to count along. So for the B minor chord, one, two, three, four, switch to G, two, three, four, then to D. that again. B minor, 3, 4, G, 2, 3, 4, D, 2, 3, 4, and A. And that part leads into the chorus, which starts with a D chord. One, two, we stick on the D chord. A. Four, one, two, three. We're going to B minor. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. And that's going to go to G. After that, we have the bridge, which uses the exact same chords in the same order as the pre-chorus, except we play each one twice as long. So it starts on a B minor chord, two, three, four, stick into the B minor chord, going to G, one, two, three, four, one, two, and that goes to D. Now, let's
let's try playing the pre-chorus and the chorus together as one. Try it with me. One, two, three, four. So that's it for the rhythm part to this song. Now you can go put that all together, the verse, the pre-chorus, the chorus, do that a couple times, and then play the bridge, and then you play another chorus, and that's it for the entire rhythm of the song. Now let's take a look at that melody that's played during the intro and after the first chorus. So we'll start out by placing our first finger on the second fret of the second string. So one, two, at the second fret. And then we'll put our middle finger, our second finger, just above it on the third fret of the same string. So it's on the second string at the third fret. Here are the first three notes of the melody. So make sure that you keep that first finger down the whole time, or else you just end up wasting time flip-flopping around. You know, all we have to do, pluck the string, remove that finger, put it back. And that's the first three notes of the melody. Now, we're going to go to the third string, so one, two, three, on the second fret. We're going to pluck that, then we're going to just play the open string. So we just did. So far we have and now all we have to do is play the fourth fret of the fourth string. So one, two, three, four, and that's it. So now take a minute with that, go through it a few times. I'll show you one more time, nice and slow. And before you go practice it, I just want to let you know that this melody does not start on beat one. It starts just after beat one. So if you're trying to figure out where to play it in the song, count out loud. One, two, three, four, one. See how it happens as a reaction to beat one? One, and two, and one. So take some time with that. Remember to count out one, da, 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 and then start playing it. And if you want some practice with this, you can go back in this video to the verse play along where we strummed through the chords to the verse. And you can just try to play along with that. Just try to put the melody over top of it. So that's how you play Photograph by Ed Sheeran. And if you found this lesson was really helpful, I'd appreciate it if you could help support us by subscribing to our channel, liking this video, and leaving a comment. And don't forget, if you need any extra help with the chords, or with the bar chord, or the strumming pattern, there's links in the description to our free ebook and to a bar chord series. I recommend checking that out and getting some extra practice in. And have a good time putting this song together. I'll see you next week.